Merci beaucoup, Daniel. Thank you very much, uh, Daniel. And I want to thank uh, you, Daniel, very much because he's volunteering his time to be with us today and always does such a great job. And next month is Daniel's 30th anniversary as the town crier for Ottawa. Congratulations. This is a very proud moment for me for a number of reasons, but I'm delighted that so many members of council, you'll be hearing from a couple of them today, and we've mentioned councillors Wilkinson and Deans and Eglai and Caudry are also with us. We also have some uh, former elected officials, and I'm going to go down that slippery slope. I see a few of them here. Uh, Peggy Feltmate from uh, Canada is with us. Peggy, welcome. Uh, Dr. Dr. Bill Topper, former MP, former mayor of Rideau Township, but I know uh, more importantly Georgie, who's much more involved in the archives in Rideau Township, but welcome to both Georgie and Bill Topper. And uh, the, the last mayor of Nepean, and we're in Nepean, and someone said, where's your chain of office? You should be wearing the chain of office. I said, it's being polished up for the royal visit, so I didn't have it. So they suggested we go into the, the vault. We have the Nepean chain. I said, if I wore the Nepean chain of office, Mary would lunge the stage here. I'd be in real trouble. So, uh, but it's nice to have Mary Pitt, former mayor of Nepean, with us here. Well, it's a, a stark uh, change in temperature, Jan, from when we were here back in October 2009, along with Rick and and uh, Paul and, and uh, Barbara doing the groundbreaking for this particular area. It was quite a miserable day. Uh, I recall standing out in the Chris Fall air under a white tent and it was blowing all over the place. And I was at that ceremony in my capacity as the MPP for this area as well as Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing with some very good news for the city that, that after a city had requested funding, we were able to deliver $20 million, which is roughly half the cost of this building. And I want to thank uh, Bob Shirelli and Premier McGinty very much because we wouldn't be here celebrating this state-of-the-art beautiful building if it was not for the generosity of uh, the Premier and the province. Thank you very much, Minister. Now, my role has changed from that day, and I have the honour of being the Mayor of our capital city, and we've come full circle. And this beautifully designed building provides the ideal stage for a for the vision of a complementary joint archives and library programming. Together under this roof, two key institutions will enhance our ability to educate, engage, and inspire the residents of Ottawa and preserve, display, and illuminate the history of our great city. And it all came to fruition, as I mentioned, with the partnership with the province of Ontario and their $20 million contribution. Of course, even with, uh, with the helping hand of our partners, the project would not have been possible without the countless hours of dedication put forth by many, many individuals in this room, both on the stage and off the stage. Évidemment, même avec l'aide de nos partenariats, ce projet n'aurait pas été possible sans les innovables heures qui ont consacré tous les inventants. I'd like to thank in particular Chris Wininski, Design and Construction, Paul Henry, Archivist, Barber Club Librarian, Richard Stark, Program Manager, OPPL Facilities and Planning, and also the friends of the Ottawa Public Library and the friends of the archives. We are blessed in this city to have these two groups of friends who are volunteers who put countless hours into raising money and awareness. And please give a big round of applause to the friends of all people. in history and we have a duty to collect and maintain not only City of Ottawa records but significant historical documents and community records on behalf of past, present and future generations. From photographs and maps to architectural drawings and artifacts, many of these original items are irreplaceable and valuable to historians, researchers and the public alike, uh, a resource for civic records, uh, genealogy and construction history. The inaugural exhibit, entitled An Archives Odyssey, Making a Home for the History of Our Communities, explains how our city archives transformed from its humble beginning to this state-of-the-art facility designed to properly care for historical resources and to serve all of our citizens. Our new archives vault provides sufficient space for 10 years of growth with enough on-site space to build a second vault to provide for 25 years of growth. It will preserve Ottawa's rich heritage for generations to come. 
I'd like to thank all of you very much for coming and taking time out of your schedules to be with us as we celebrate this very happy occasion in the City of Ottawa. I'm proud to say that we now have a great new archives and more efficient library distribution center to serve the entire population of the City of Ottawa. Je tiens à vous remercier tout de votre présence aujourd'hui et de votre aide dans les célébrations de cette ouverture officielle. And I would, as Danielle pointed out, ask you to invite your friends to come back on July 9th and take a tour. I took a quick tour to see some of the vaults and some of the uh, artifacts and memorabilia from years and centuries gone by. It really is quite remarkable. Let me conclude by thanking my colleagues who are with us today. Uh, Councillor Mark Taylor, who's uh, responsible for Community and Protective Services, which includes the Public Art Program. We have uh, Councillor Jan Harder, who is the chair and champion of the uh, library, as chair of the library, and also a councillor from Barhaven, and Councillor Rick Shirelli, whose ward we're in today, who was very supportive of making sure that we had all the documents and planning uh, process uh, up to speed so we could be here today. And finally, again, to Minister Bob Shirelli, thank you and the province and the Premier for your confidence in this building, in our community. Uh, this is a happy day for everyone who understands the importance of our history and ensure that we have the necessary infrastructure to protect, preserve, and promote it. Merci beaucoup.